All right. Well, hello there, my people. Powerhouse, we were playing Rogers coming at you again, and now with the RR8 vertical stabilizers because they are important. Got a sheet of paper, scrap. See as I pull it down right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this just like we've been doing the wings, um, elevators, everything. You can always start with this shape. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm on two. So everything I do on the left side, I'm going to do on the right side. Honestly, and then I'm going to um, get this tape off these scissors. They will come off. And then I'm going to cut this out. You can start to work with it. So there's one. There's two. Well, after I'm done cutting it, I, I assumed. Jump to conclusions. There is two. Okay, now we're gonna take both of these. We're gonna put them side by side like this. Make sure that they're even. And the double R8, which my double R8 is asking for these to be cut around like this angle right here. Okay, and then we're gonna put these two in the side of each other. And then open it up like this and put them aside. It looks like a heart kind of make sure it's even. And as we get and there's a center crease line right here. And get, make sure it's even. Get the center crease line, you're gonna cut it about this much up. Then once you get that, we're gonna flip this up just like the elevator. Basically, this is the elevator, if you want. This same way like the elevator. Same thing. You already know. You already know. Okay. So, yeah, it's the same. Basically, it's the same thing. Nothing really special anything about it. And like I said, these aircraft are meant to be assembled. A lot of pieces are, you can assemble on it. So, if you want to change out a part or something on it, and make yours better because that's what I want you guys to do be able to go out and if you make something better than me cool I, I'm all for that change yours up make it the way you want it make it make it make it yours you know and then um, same exact thing I'm just gonna take the tape and do what I just did so I'm gonna go ahead and coat these real quick and then we'll um, and then I'll continue from that all right so I'm back Got the elevators completed. Um, I didn't cut. I didn't cut them all the way in tape. There's still some areas missing, but you guys can cut out some squares or whatever triangles, and just piece it on there and cover that up. Not a big deal. So I'll take our aircraft. My aircraft's now on this belly. I'm gonna kind of fold this one up, this up a little bit, setting it apart. Oh, and you guys can also um, cut this off if you want to, and. Because if you cut this off, then it, it sticks, because it'll, it'll break a lot, so you can just cut this if you like. And that'll make it a lot, so if your aircraft crashes, it doesn't rip constantly. Okay, so then we're going to take this, and then we're going to go to where this uh, crease right here, to the elevator, where we put, piece it together. We're going to go to that crease right here. We're going to make sure you and then right here, we're gonna make sure it's straight because that's very crucial. So let's see. Okay, so this I'm not gonna like that. So I'm gonna go to the crease, but I didn't like it being this far, so I'm gonna go back just a little bit right here. All right, and then just gonna kind of eye it. Um, you guys get what I'm doing? I'm gonna kind of eye it. Get it on there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna try to get the same distance as the other one. To make it as even as possible. I wanna open. I wanna look at pigeon toad or anything. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even cut this side off. Here. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Like I say, you don't have to cut that off. You don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one straight. I don't want to have this up a little bit so I can take my grab and I'm going to stick it on there. 
I should stick when I am ready for it to go. Okay, so yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Even if it's kind of pigeon-toed, I'll just straighten it back out. Now I'm going to take some more tape, obviously, to coat, um, to get the, um, the vertical stabilizer to stick to the, uh, the aircraft. About this much. So, go ahead and put it where this white part shows. And you can get it to where it goes on the elevator if you want to, that won't mess up things to try to get it flush with it. I didn't do a good job, but I'm hoping you guys will. So I did this side, and then I'm going to do the next side, obviously. Still the same, still working on the same vertical stabilizer, by the way. To the other side right here. Get it flushed in with it. And it's okay if you go over and there's some tape like hanging off of your aircraft, obviously. I mean, just cut the extra excess tape off. So, yeah, I have it looking, you know, crazy. I could have made this aircraft look a lot better, but I was just trying to. I'm, all, I'm, I'm in a rush to do it. I hope I have these. All right. And then I'm going to take some more tape. And everything I'm doing on this side, I want you guys to repeat on the right side of the aircraft. Take some more tape. This time, I'm going to cut this piece of tape in half. So, cutting this one right in, the, in half. I just messed up piece right here. But anyway, I'm going to put this right here. A little over that, over the front part of the vertical stabilizer. You know, one side. And then I do it on the other side of the same one. And you harvest going to the other elevator the same exact way. Okay, do that, and then, after you get that, I know it's a lot of tape, I'm going to do some more tape, but we're not going to, we're not going to use a whole piece, we're just going to, we're going to cut this one in half, so I'm going to cut this one in half down the center, and we're going to put this across, so now we're going to put this going across this right here, to help hold that on there, and, you know, right here is kind of over the over if you want. Okay. And then just let me hold on real quick. Okay. Now there's nothing much left but to cut the cut the um uh, cut the flaps in the aircraft. You, well probably you definitely don't need to. So just the right wing. Cut them wherever you want I guess. I'm gonna put mine right here. I'm gonna start right here. So, and then repeat the same process on the other side, try to get it as close, as even as possible to the other one. I'm just going to eye it. Now, you guys may have a better method, but that's what I've been doing for a while now. It's been working, so that's what I do. Alright, like so. And then, for the rudders, just cut your rudders in there, some little rudders. And your vertical stabilizers, you know. So you want to be able to tweak your aircraft. And you don't have to worry about the elevators, you already have those on there. And then, this aircraft wants these to be kind of canted, because it's supposed to be like a stealth aircraft, even though you know it's not really, but I'm going to kind of fold this down a little bit. At an angle. And then I'm going to fold that one down kind of at an angle. So now it's, now it's at an angle. See that? Have it kind of a little bit. And there we have it. We have double R8. This one, I did a horrible job on rushing, but you know, you remember when we have the elevators, you're going to kind of want to bend them up and down to get them to, you know, kind of be easy to manipulate when you're um, trying to tune your aircraft, because you have to kind of tweak it first before it to fly. Just like so. So then you can, and I throw mine like this. Um, I'll do a hitch. Well, I already have a hitch video. So if you go and watch my how to make a, um, on my hitches, uh, you guys probably like that. Also, when you have the nose on her, the head unit that you put, you're gonna kind of mash it like like so in between, like this. Kind of pinch it out, and then mash it back, and that's gonna kind of give you like a an actual head unit head on there. What you call it? But yeah, so this is the um, this is 
the RR8s right here, ready for action, and I'll probably do a flight video tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be a hitch one or my lunch or not. I might do that, because I guess it's what you guys can do. So I don't know how many people can uh, rubber band lunch or like me. And also, though, with the flaps, if you want, you can go with a pin or something and cut this in half, and you'll have your, your um, you'll have one flap, it'll, the top layer that's going to go up, and this one will stay, the bottom layer will stay neutral, or you can make it um, go down and that's at the same time that kind of helps with the trimming of the aircraft too but I don't do that too often I mean I, I cut it but I don't really use them in that manner this is like a true flying wing or something but yeah this is Penn Powerhouse Paper Airplane Rogers remember like share subscribe um, people let me know what you think about my aircraft I know it's a bit ugly because I rushed it but trust me I wasn't accounting for this head unit is, is similar. I, I kind of, I don't know, for some reason I thought it was parallel with the body, but it wasn't. It's off by a couple of degrees, and when I put the tape on there, I didn't account for that, and it kind of really messed me up and wrinkled up everything. But I hope you you guys will you'll know that. So, yeah, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and remember, people, keep them flying.